Welcome back guys. Before we break down the 73 kg category, check out that Epon. That is an incredible Epon. How often do you see lift like that? Come on. All right guys, so the quarterfinals are Orjov and Siloglu, shoved out to Ashvili and Magalidon, An versus Butbul, and Masias versus Sendocher. So the number one seed is Orjo from Azerbaijan, and he has wins over Shavdat to Asvili, two against Arn, three against Masias, two against Sendocher, two against Bukbul, and two against Mag Magalidon. He hasn't faced uh, Siloglu, the only person in the top eight who he hasn't faced and doesn't have a win against. But apart from that, Orjo, very, very dominant, has good judo, osoto gari, a nice ochi gari, sumi gaishi, and a bunch of counters as well. And I guess I should really say he, he's got to be one of the, the more technical judoka out there. Plays the game well, has a good balance between going for shidos, going to attack, and getting points. So I really like Orojov, and he's definitely one of the favorites for the Olympics. All right, number two, we've got Shavdat Tuashvili, recently crowned world champion, and he is an Olympic champion himself, so a lot of experience, really talented guy, and he is definitely one of the other favorites in this category. So he's got a win over Orujov, one over Arn, three against Masias, and he doesn't have wins against Sendocher, Butbul, Magelidon, but he's got two over Siloglu. Shavda Tuashvili, although he's, uh, he's got that classic Georgian judo with the big pickups and the uranage as well, his tokui waza is an ochigari. And I really like how he does his ochigari, really runs with it, keeps going until he gets it. But a real tactician, real experienced, definitely one of the favorites. Number three, we've got An from Korea, our world champion himself, and a Seoinage specialist, really specializes in that Korean style of judo. And believe it or not, An, he has three wins against Orujov. So that's quite surprising. Two against Shavdat Tuashvili, one against Masias, three against Sendocher, one against Butbul, three against Magalidon, and two against Siloglu. So you look at An's record and it almost looks better than Orujov's, to be honest. Almost, almost. But yes, uh, number three seed, he could be number one if he was just more active. Generally, the, the Koreans, the Japanese, they don't compete as much as everyone else. At least that's my impression. They kind of only turn out for the big Grand Slams, don't really turn up for the, the Grand Prix. But uh, he is definitely one of the top favorites. These top seeds, one, two, and three. Definitely some very, very strong judoka going into this category. And 73 is probably going to be the most heavily contested category out of them all. And look at that Seo Inagi. You, you really need a technique like this to win the Olympics. You need something that people see are coming and can't do anything to defend against it. And you score with it all the time. So, An Seo Inage, shoved out to us really is Ochigari. And auto jobs, kind of makikomi style moves, sumigaishi, definitely these kinds of moves. So number four, we've got Masias from Sweden. And Masias, he recently had a good win over Hashimoto. So that'll be good heading into the Olympics, even though Hashimoto is not there, but high level competition. And it might mean that Masias is peaking at the right time. Masias, he's got wins over Orujov, Shabdat Toashvili, and Butbol. Magali Don and two against Siloglu. So missing out on a couple of important victories, I think, especially against An and Sendocher. But the one over Orojov and Shavdatos really will do him well. Sendocher now, who's number five from Mongolia. And I love Sendocher's judo. I think he's kind of got that good mix of traditional judo and Mongolian style judo. So Sendocher. Really, really good uh, record as well. One against Orojov, two against Shavdatosvili, one against Arn, two against Masias, two against Bukbol, 
and then one against Magellidon. And finally about Sinoche, I'll say this, I think he's peaking and I definitely think a medal is on the table for Sinoche. Just watch him take out, shoved out to Ashvili. Righto, Bootball now, he's got a nice standing Seui Nage, Seui Otoshi, but doesn't have many wins over the top eight, so he's got a win over Orujov, two against Shavdatu Ashvili, two against Magaladon, and two against Siloglu. To be honest, I think the, the level of quality drops off a bit here for Bootball, I don't think he's the same category as the other top five. Number seven now, Magaladon from Canada, Come on, you got to be quiet when that Epon's happening, come on. Magellidon, he's got some really nice throws. He's got some really nice judo, but just fails against the higher competition. He's got three wins against Masius, one against Sendocha, one against Bootball, and nothing else. But I like him, good judoka, and really nice judo to watch. Number eight now, we've got Siloglu from Turkey, the Sacrifice Throw King and the Shido King. I'm going to be honest, I don't like this guy, so I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on. Let's address the elephant in the room. Ono Shohei. He's not in the top eight seeds. So do you know what that means? He will be placed randomly in any of the pools, and it is possible that he will have a round one and he won't have a bye going into round two. But Ono Shohei has wins against almost everyone. Almost everyone. I'm not even gonna talk about it. I'm just gonna say he is 58 and zero since losing to Akimoto many, many, many years ago. So I'm pretty sure Ono Shohei gold medal at the Tokyo Olympics is a shoe-in, and him not being in the top eight makes it really, really interesting and very difficult for me to predict, but he's just such a high quality competitor. He has to, he has to take it. Vasily Fabio from Italy, another wild card. Really, really good judo. He kind of has on days and off days, but as an Olympic champion, you never know what he's gonna do at Tokyo. Turaev as well. He's a really great judoka, good strong throws, unique judo, mixes it up well. And he, he's another wild card for me. Maybe he'll get a bronze. I'd like to see him get a bronze. And finally, Raichu. This guy's got good judo. He will surprise you. He's really, really strong and he's good at countering people. So I would not be surprised to see him upset someone, uh, maybe one of the top eight, heading into the quarterfinals. So here's my prediction for the 73 kg category. And obviously there's gonna be an upset with Ono getting randomly placed in one of these pools. So if these quarterfinals happen, here is what I think. Orujov takes it over Sologlu. Shoved out to Ashvili, takes it over Magali Don, Ahn beats Bootball, and Sendocha beats Masis. But as I said, we've got a couple of wild cards in there Turaev, Raichu, Fabio Basili, and of course Ono. So, how things happen, I think 73 will be a very, very interesting category to watch on the day. But I don't think anyone will disagree with me that Ono Shohei, gold. 2020 Olympics, 73 kg category. Let me know what you think in the comments. Peace.